A landscape cut into different coloured pieces, overlapped by organic swirling clouds, backlit by a strong sky. Vincent van Gogh painted this, the plain near Uvoir, in 1890. It's in his post-impressionism style, with objects being picked out by dark outlines. It must be near midday, the shadows, we'll find them in a moment, are short, and the overhead sky is tending deep blue. A first impression is of a peaceful field with differing crops, the furrows in the ground drawn in purposefully directed brush strokes. Other artists create texture by the randomness of their brush strokes, but Vincent here creates fields and even wind through clear multiple strokes in the same direction. The fields in the middle ground and the well-settled barn give us a mark of humanity. Harmonised colours abound, but do not blend on the canvas, their individuality creating strength in the harmony. Short shadows have to be looked for as the colours intertwine each other in the patchwork of fields. Here's the shadow of the barn, and here's the shadow of the haystacks. Ordered trees march onto the horizon. To the right, a field of poppies, or so it seems to me. In the foreground, we see vegetation, planted, I suppose, some kind of crop. But somehow the foreground is not really vegetation at all, but instead a breeze rippling through and playing with our hair as it passes. Two birds, or are there three or four, you decide, glide low, catching the breeze. The ordered strokes of colour vary as the breeze passes over the vegetation's long stalks, which are swaying in response. Vincent has laid down a medium tone and overlaid it first with darks and then with the lights reflecting the sunlight and sky. Right in the foreground, three poppies that have escaped their field, seeds blown on the wind, like Vincent, a bright but misunderstood part of a different field, out of place but catching our eye with their beauty. Finally, the sky, a Vincent sky with swirling circular formed clouds and a distant calm horizon. The sky pulls back to bright deep blue as it comes over our heads in short sharp strokes, which nevertheless form a sky we recognise. By mid-1890, Vincent had checked himself out of a mental asylum and moved to Auvoir to convalesce. Our main painting today is mainly restful, with some sense of order in parts. It has a bucolic calm and a harmonious palette. Contrast this with later paintings in the same year, such as Tree Roots and Trunks, with its convoluted, unordered theme. And Wheatfield with Crows, also in 1890, with its infamous unfinished road, cut short. Shortly after this, he shot himself. He is buried near this plain at Ouvoir, in the municipal cemetery, not too far from the church there, itself immortalised in this painting, the church at Ouvoir Chevoir, which he painted also in 1890, that productive but tortured last year of his life. It's too easy to set ourselves up as amateur psychologists, but in colour, style, brushwork and intent, we can see that there is a difference between the relative calm of the plain near Ouvoir and the shocking, jarring scene of Wheatfield with crows. Let's finish by going back to the plain. A smell of fresh earth and recent rainfall greets us as we look out over a rolling landscape of pleasant primary industry and ordered nature. Bright red flowers anchor the foreground and curved gentle clouds form the background. A breeze wafts by and the birds take advantage of the lift. Haystacks speak of the harvest of the soil. Vincent, at peace, puts down his brushes, never knowing what he has contributed to millions of people who now stop and ponder his rendering of The Plain near Revoir. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please press like. If you want to be notified when I put out more reactions to great art, please subscribe. See you next time.